The hardest part of the print on demand business is finding good winning t-shirts and advertising those t-shirts. The actual setup process of the ads or the product or anything like that is easy and it's just really simple and I'm gonna cover that all in my tutorial but I wanted to make this video on a tool that I found. This is going to be an unbiased review of a tool called merchinformer.com and I wanna tell you about it. I also want to tell you right here, right now, I wanna be honest with you that this, I, the link in the description is going to be an affiliate link. So when you buy it, I'll get something out of it. And obviously you'll get something out of it because I have a 20% discount if you use the code SHIMMY20. Now they haven't asked me to make this video. I love using this tool. I've used this tool for quite a long time now. And I feel that it is a really, really good tool to find profitable niches. And a lot of people are asking, how do I find good t-shirts? How do I do this? How do I do that? So I thought I'd make a, a video on it. And the only reason I'm using the affiliate link is because that is how I get paid for these videos. So that's it. If I don't think the tool is good, I'll tell you the tool is not good. But I do think it's pretty good. So let's just quickly go over the tool. Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, by the way, because my channel is growing really, really well. I'm absolutely loving this growth and I would love it if you join this team and subscribe to my channel. So what is Merch Informer? Well, Merch Informer, firstly, I'll put it out like, out there. This is more for Amazon merch. So you know the t-shirts that you can sell on Amazon. However, I have found a hack to actually use this for not selling on Amazon, for selling with Printly or Teespring on Facebook with advertising because it's very hard to get accepted for Amazon merch. And if you do get accepted, then brilliant, well done to you. I got accepted, but I haven't really used it so much. But I use Merch Informer to actually create t-shirts and sell on Facebook, because I feel like that's a lot better. So let's see what it is. Well, it has a whole thing where you can learn. It has a whole aspect of learning, which is really, really good. It's got all the research stuff. It allows you to design t-shirts, and it tells you how to scale your business. And then it also, the best part is the protection part. So it will tell you if something is trademarked and not to go and actually do it. And how much is this? Well, you've got a few different options. You've got the $9.99, the $19.99, and the $59.99. So I used to be on the $19.99, and then I moved to the $59.99. But to be honest, the $19.99 is pretty good for you. You don't. There's no reason for you to spend $60 a month. If you feel like you're going to need to spend that much, then so be it, but you really don't need to. And remember, if you are gonna sign up, then use the coupon code SHIMMY20, and that way you get 20% discount. So let's have a look at the actual tool. What is this tool? Well, it allows you to do a few things. It allows you to check competition, check keywords, check listings, check trademarks. It allows you to um, go to, let's have a look, Trend Hunter. So I'm only gonna show you the things that I find useful, because to be honest, I don't find everything on this tool useful. I find a bit of it useful. I find the Movers and Shakers very useful, and I find the Merch Hunter very useful, and the Competition Checker very useful. These three things I find super useful. I'm not gonna lie here and say to you, oh, it's all amazing, I find everything amazing. I love the tutorials, and I love the Merch and so I love all of it, it's so good. Because no, I'm not trying to sell you on it. If you wanna buy it, that is, fine, you can do that, but I just wanna tell you what I like. And I like the Merch Hunter, I like the Competition Checker, and I like the Movers and Shakers under Trend Hunter. Stuff like Favorites is useful because it, all your all your favorited t-shirts go here, so it allows you just to quickly see it. And also stuff like Keyword Finder is very useful when it comes to optimizing for Facebook. So I like that as well, but I don't use it that much. So let's start with Merch Hunter, and this allows you to search the best sellers. So let's search the top 200. We're gonna do Marketplace US because it's the biggest marketplace, and if you're selling on Facebook advertising t-shirts, I would recommend selling to the US. And then Category Merch by Amazon. So these are only gonna search t-shirts on Amazon, not t-shirts on Teespring or t-shirts on Printful or Printly or Frog View or any of the other websites. But the reason why I don't think that's so important is because Amazon is one of the biggest websites. So if a t-shirt is successful on Amazon, if a niche is successful on Amazon, you can pretty much bet it will be very successful if you run a Facebook ad for it as well. What we do here is we, we put in the top 200 for the best sellers, we put the BSR range, zero, one to 500,000, so we could do one to 200,000 whatever, 200,000 in the bit. And then the price range, forget about the price range. We can use keywords, but we don't have to. And then let's just search, right? Takes a couple of seconds. And you've got the results data down here and the keywords, so cotton, colors, polyester, all these things, top best sellers, the sales rank, the average price, the lowest price, the highest price, 
you've got the total results, which was 200, the lowest price, the highest price, and the average price of $18.58. This also allows you to see what people are willing to spend on t-shirts. It's a good number to know. Right, now let's have a look. So, rolling with my homies, okay, since 2017. Now, this looks like it's a Kansas City, foot. yeah, Kansas City. So, this is Kansas City here, right? And this is selling 1,000, an estimate of 1,890 sales a month. That is ridiculous. That is insane. That is insane. And again, another Kansas City one. So easy, Kansas City football. Now, some of these will obviously be trademarked, so that's what this is for. So you'd click that and it would go to trademarker.com and it would actually tell you if it's trademarked, okay? And then you've also got copyright. So this will lead you to Amazon's page. If you are doing merch by Amazon, if you click report infringement, it will take you to Amazon where you can actually report the infringement. The competition check allows you to actually, well, let's have a look. Total products with this label, 33. So it kind of tells you how many people are selling it. If you click this heart button, it will it will be added to your favorites. And then the information button will pretty much just give you a lot more information about it. So it says trademark registered, investigate further. So obviously you can't do this because it's trademarked, but you can kind of see how it's worked with the BSR going all the way to less than 100K. So it's really, really good. And the price has stayed consistent at 19.98. So you can keep going down, right? You got San Francisco here. So a lot of this is going to be trademark stuff, which is understandable. A lot of it isn't going to be trademark stuff like this or happy 100th day kindergarten. This Yoda, one for me, that's going to be trademarked. KC, that's probably going to be trademarked, but maybe, maybe not. And then you've got, that's obviously trademarked. So a lot of this stuff is going to be trademarked, but 100th day of school achievement unlocked, that's not going to be trademarked. And that's getting 243 sales a month. That's pretty good. There's a lot of school stuff. That's what I've noticed. A lot of school stuff. Sorry, this beard is taken. That is obviously not going to be trademarked, that kind of niche. So you wouldn't necessarily go and sell this t-shirt. I'm never telling you to go and rip off someone's design. So don't go and sell, sorry, this beard is taken. However, you could look at this and be like, oh, this is interesting, 216 sales, selling for around $20. That's pretty good. Why don't I try the beard niche? And you can easily target around that niche on Facebook. It's so, so easy. And you can create a whole bunch of designs around people who grow beards. And it's super targeted. People who have a beard, you'll be able to target them. And it's just so targeted, they definitely want to buy, right? Same with Monster Trucks are my jam. You can talk to people who like Monster Trucks. Super, super targeted. 100 days of school. There's a lot of school things I'm seeing. Call me old fashioned. So this is all about a drink. So this is really cool. You could definitely do people who like whiskey. There's just, you could get a whole bunch of ideas for niches like this. You get an idea of what's most importantly for what is working. So clearly, this Kansas City is working big time, but another thing that's working is school stuff. Another thing that's working is people with beards. Another thing that's working is like cars and stuff. Another thing that's working is alcohol. So you can kind of get an idea of what is working and what will make money, okay? Also the kind of designs that work. This is really, really good, okay? So this is why I love this tool because it just gives me so many uh, niche ideas, not necessarily t-shirt ideas because obviously I don't like ripping people off, but it gives me so many niche ideas of who to target. And then you've got another one. So the other thing I like, I told you, was the competition checker. So it allows you to you put a keyword in and you see how much competition there is. And then the last thing I really, really like was the movers and shakers. And this allows you to, t this tells you which t-shirt has moved drastically in their sales position. So for example, you can see it's gone all the way up to a 3 million sales rank and then it's shot down to a 150,000 sales rank. So this kind of tells you what is becoming popular, what is trending even, because just a nurse who loves cats, that is a super easy thing to target on Facebook. You can target nurses who are also interested in cats, bam. And look at this, it jumped all the way down to 220,000 sales rank and it was up here at 3 million and they're selling for $16.98. So you could easily go into this kind of niche and it's cool to see that these kind of things are trending. So that is the main reason why I actually like this tool. And then if I go to my favorites, I'll be able to see the things that I have favorited here. 
So that is pretty much it. Another cool part of this tool, by the way, just so you know, is under the tutorial section, it actually tells you how to use each section of their tool. So it's, it's really cool. They have a little video, like three to four minute video on every single section. And as well as that, you've got stuff like this, which is the Merch Academy, which is going to be some sort of training. I haven't ever actually watched this because I, I don't need to, I never did need to. But if we have a look at it, we can see it teaches you about designing, initial reviews and sales. This is really cool. It's basically like a course, right? This is basically like a course. And that's pretty good in my mind. And then you've got a merch designer over here. I personally think that this is a great tool. If you want to buy it, it will help you. I don't think it's 100% necessary. If you're trying to save money, then don't buy it. But if you want to speed up the amount of time it takes to find a t-shirt, and if you want to close the gap of the average the average amount of t-shirts it takes to find a successful one so for example i say it's about five to ten t-shirts to find one successful one and make money from it whereas if you're using a tool like this it probably goes down to two to five potential t-shirts before you find a successful one so if you want to bridge that gap just a bit this could be a pretty good tool but again no pressure if you don't think it's for you then then don't buy it but again i like it because i use it so the link is the first link in the description. If you are interested in, in trying out and using it, then so be it. And if you haven't signed up for Amazon Merch, then maybe do that because Amazon Merch is massive and you'd be able to make a lot of money with it, especially with this tool. You'll be able to do them together. It's very, very cool. So that is all I want to say in this video. I just wanted to give you a full breakdown review of Merch Informer and tell you what I thought about the tool. And I hope you like it. If you don't like it, then so be it. But remember, if you do get the tool, use my discount. You get 20% off by using the code SHIMMY20. So I want you to get that discount. And uh, yeah, this was just one massive plug for this tool. But I thought it was actually quite a cool video to make because everyone's asking me how they can find t-shirt designs, how they can do this. And there are a lot of free ways to find t-shirt designs, which I will discuss in my full length tutorial. But this is just a way of finding t-shirt designs quickly, like using Jungle Scout if you're selling on Amazon or using AMZ Scout if you're selling on Amazon. This is the same idea, except this is just for t-shirts. So I thought it was, but it was quite an informative thing I wanted to tell you about. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.